Hey everyone, welcome to my video. In this video, we are going to be modeling this screw. Let's start. We are opening a new part. And then on the white plane, a sketch. Uh, up to this point, we just go create a sketch, which is going to look like our uh, section. This is our uh, profile contour, let's say. This will be 21, this will be 16, and one millimeter. This is a metric six uh, bolt. I put the uh, construction geometry where I can give uh, dimensions for diameters and uh, this will be 10 sorry this diameter will be 10 half is 5 and then uh, a 15 degree angle after this operation we can close it and then we can make a revolve when sketch is selected you go automatically to operation uh, after this point we just give chamfer here which is 0.5 for this region and here and here i have 0.5 radiuses 0.5 and here is uh, one radius uh, then we can continue with our uh, screw I will cut the thread and this is our outer diameter. I open a new sketch, in fact, on the surface and then I convert my outer edge here. Uh, once you're done with this, we continue to helix uh, with one millimeter bridge, 15 revolution. We are going to make a sketch, a uh, helix. Uh, it is done now. This passing through our uh, top plane, and I can create the rest sketch for cutting our profile. Uh, here I will place two time uh, triangle, and with control mouse button, uh, button of uh, our uh, keyboard, I'm making them equal. This will be. Uh, vertical I think in this section we are having a vertical and these two will be collinear and then this will be our uh, outer edge can create a guide line where we can make a coincidence on there Second can be uh, a construction because I will only use it for determining my uh, dimension here. This dimension for metric six bolt, uh, in fact, all the bolts, it is uh, pitch divided by eight, which is here one, uh, one divided eight. Uh, after this operation, we're just going to create uh, our pitch. Now, fully defined program for me uh, automatically calculates the uh, dimensions for all the required things. For example, minimal dimension, root dimension of screw, and this kind of things. But I don't need it. Uh, we can use this uh, simple uh, ways and after this operation I'm saying my program cut for me this profile in this sprawl this will be cut but I think I left there a line yes here there's a line should be also a construction line I select my uh, profile and I'm going to swap cut and then we choose our path. 
yes this is the thing that we are searching for and after on this surface i'm opening a sketch and i'm converting to this uh, surface and making a normal cut and here also we have a little part we can remove it shears extrude cut and this is also done we are now going to model the socket uh, for that I'm going to use again a top plane and I will go make my base drill here this drill diameter will be 4.05 4.05 of course divided by 2 and this will be 3 and as you know all base this will be uh, angle is 118 divided by 2 not always but mostly for general rules uh, general used wheels depending on material the tip angle can change after this operation we go open a sketch on top plane and I am placing here a, a circle and I'm converting to a normal construction line and here another circle as arc we made merge and we go combine these two lines I'm making like this because later I don't want to spend time uh, with uh, trimming you could also normally use uh, uh, full circles that's fine this diameter is uh, 5.6 divided uh, 10 uh, radius 0 0.56 and this is one uh, 5.6 uh, divided by like multiplied by 1 0 0.75 0 0.75 like this and this have a tangent C now we are going to uh, make a circle sketch pattern for this one six time after this operation we can combine and we can create also here a tangency and if we create here a tangency I think it will be fully defined here tangency yes we defined our uh, profile these are standard values you can find all internet also I'm cutting three and a half again this drill bit was three and a half sorry there it's looking something wrong six and a half outside that was our it is looking fine but i i think i'm missing something let's make three and we will see yeah that is sorry and uh, after this operation, the last operation will be cutting our chamfer, basically and placing on top uh, surface uh, circle. And then after this operation, I go to the normal cut extrude and making here just 45 degree. It will go make here a nice uh, chamfer on top. Uh, this was the uh, specifications for this bolt and we can put here 05, uh, 05 the radius of the bolts have here a small layer radius and then defining a material for example yes it is a nice model and i think it is very easy to model it for you guys thank you for watching